Hi everyone, I wanted to talk about a recent job interview that I had over the phone and on site. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but I did take a lot away from the experience. So basically to preface the situation, I was contacted by a recruiter on LinkedIn telling me about this opportunity for this large fintech company here in Texas. And they were looking to hire eight UI engineers for this company that's global if I told you the name, you would have probably heard of it and everybody uses their product. And the position itself was very relaxed. Um, it's a collaborative culture. They're looking to hire JavaScript and React engineers, but more to the mid and senior level. So the problem solving ability and willingness to collaborate was the most important skill. And I heard that the culture and the working environments are some of the best that you would see because they have so much money behind them that I'm sure they can provide for that. This was on the 16th of January and I agreed to hop on the phone with them um, the next day. So the following day, the 17th, I spoke with another recruiter in the same company and these guys are a recruiting company, mind you. They're not from the FinTech company. And so I spoke to him a little bit more trying to learn about the culture and the job description and what they're actually looking for. So I learned that they have a good relationship with the FinTech company. It's gonna be a contract position for six months. If things work out well, it might lead to an extension or a conversion to full-time. It's a 35 to 40 hour uh, weekly range, uh, work week. And I also talked about some of my long-term goals about being here in the area and what I'm kind of looking for the position. And so if I wanted to proceed, I had to get um, some of my references in order. I had to get uh, a coding challenge done. And if all works out, there would be an on-site interview for an hour with a technical component. So later that day, the 17th, I was able to get all my references. I hopped on a Skype call with the recruiter I spoke with to do the coding challenge. It was basically a JavaScript prototype inheritance challenge where you would have to console log out something from the parent, uh, the parent component, and then the child component was created with the word keyword new. And so you had to console log something out and also show the energy level of the bear. And so I was able to get that done and my recruiter liked the results and he gathered everything together and sent it off to the company. The following week, Monday was a holiday. So the recruiter didn't actually get in touch with me until Tuesday. And he said that everything looked really good. The company was excited to bring me in. And so he was trying to push through my profile to get an on-site right away. Long story short, it wasn't until the following week that they had asked me to come in to interview. And that interview, on-site interview, was actually the 23rd. And so before I came into the on-site, I tried to did some self-preparation. I tried to work on my JavaScript, my React knowledge, my algorithm data structure, and just to find if there's any information about the interview process for this specific company and so i did the best i could and i knew that they could pretty much ask me anything and so i just try to study what i knew and work on uh, my javascript skills and so on that day on the 23rd was when i went for the interview so i arrived there and i had to walk to the front desk to check in they actually had to print me out a badge because it was such a new, uh, I mean, it was such a, a big company. And the company actually just moved there recently, so about a couple months in. So they, they were still doing construction outside. Besides the point, one of the, I was meant to meet with three, three people because I was sent a, an email with their LinkedIn profiles and one was a senior engineer, one was a staff engineer, and the other one was uh, he, 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 like development or something like that, product development. 
And so I, f I basically met with the staff engineer first. He brought me upstairs, brought me into one of the meeting rooms where the other person was the senior engineer. And I was walking into this room and the senior engineer didn't even look up. He didn't say, hey, you know, welcome to the campus, welcome to the building. He basically just fixed the laptop that I would be coding on. And then he proceeded to sit on the other side of the table. And right away, I had that bad feeling about it. I was like, man, these guys aren't warm at all. Like, yeah, it's a big company, but you can still treat people nicely, right? Just because you've been around for so long doesn't mean... Who knows? It's just a bad vibe that I get. Anyways, I've checked both of these guys' profile and they've been in the development industry for 10 plus years. So they're very senior. They know exactly what they're doing. And so that was a little bit intimidating for me. I, I wasn't going to lie. And so we sat down and we chit-chatted just about open questions that they had asked me and I had asked them a couple things about the position in the company itself. So they would ask me very open-ended questions as if I had a spiel that I had to, to, to go through. And I just, you know, I would just go through what I was doing. Basically, I spoke about working at the startup. I worked about my experiences with Lambda School, being self-taught with freelance clients in the past, and kind of where I am. And what I had asked them was, can you tell me more about the position and what what kind of team are you trying to form or how many people are there already? You know, like just kind of learn more about it. And it was funny because he said, the senior guy said, well, we don't usually talk about that to the end of the interview. And he might not have had that tone, but I was like, does it really matter? Like we're here for an hour, so just... You know, we're just talking about it. And I thought, man, I don't I don't like the vibe of these guys, to be honest. Like, I know they're a big company. They have money to swing around. But corporate culture, man, that's like, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm used to something else, like a smaller, tight-knit culture. Anyways, we got through all, all of that. And they seemed that they seemed like I was doing, you know, it would seem like, okay. And... We went into the coding challenge, which was basically you had to take an array of items and sum them together. The problem is that there were certain things that were thrown into the mix that would complicate things. So such, such values like null or strings or uh, is not a number, that sort of thing. So if you know JavaScript, there's a lot of type problems with javascript and you have to be very knowledgeable about that and so i worked through it and i asked them questions because they said use us as your google and i said okay and we worked on a, a coding screen that had intellisense and also a testing library built in so you could see what's plugged in and what comes back and there were five tests that you need to pass and so got through that and that took a lot of time because we were going through a lot of the concepts in JavaScript. I guess they were testing me to see if I really knew it. And I didn't know everything, but I knew I would say maybe 50 to 60%. And so they, we finished all that. After the coding challenge, I talked to them a little bit more about their own experiences. I had asked a senior engineer about how he became so sex successful and if he would have changed anything he did in his past to uh, get to where he is today maybe to save time or in that sense and i asked the other engineer the staff engineer about his experiences at hacked reactor and how if he had any difficult situations when helping students because he was a mentor i guess there or um a, a lead or something like that there and that was pretty much the interview itself. I think it was ro it was closing, uh, you know, close to the hour that we were ending. I was like, you know, um, I don't want to, I don't want to to take up too much of your time. I'm thankful for the opportunity here, 
And I felt like I had enough of these guys anyways. They were very, uh, I guess, intelligent to the sense that they, I don't know, they didn't feel warm to me anymore. And I was like, I got bored of it, to be honest. I, I would rather talk with someone that's interesting, interested, you know, but at that point, I feel like they weren't interested anymore. They were like, okay, we've seen enough of this guy. Maybe he just, he's done, you know? And that's just the vibe that I get. I didn't really hear any words in that sense. So don't misconstrue that. So I left and I said, thanks for the opportunity and for, you know, letting me learn more about the company. I went home that day, decompressed. The following day, the recruiter contacted me and said that they would pass on my my application. And I said, okay. And in the way that the recruiter said it, I was confused because it sounded like they were doing a rolling admission or something. Like they were going to interview all the candidates and then get back to, to me or something. But no, he's like, no, they're, you know, they're skipping you or whatever. So they're not considering you to bring you on at all. I was like, okay. And my recruiter said, well, at least they're familiar with you. So if you do, if later they decide to bring you on, then, you know, you have a profile there already. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I was, I wasn't devastated, but I was kind of disappointed because I know that uh, maybe I could have done better. Maybe there was something that could have influenced their decision more, but I didn't get a good vibe, <laughs> to be honest. And so I knew it wasn't my time. I knew that the role was mid to senior that they were looking for. And here I was, maybe just with a year, two years experience, and I wasn't ready for it yet. And that's okay because that's part of the job hunting process I've come to realize. You just have to run through all of the, the applications and interviews in order to get the right one. And so I've already learned this from my first uh, stint with job searching. So that was what I took away from it. And going forward, I think what I'll do is I'm going to work more on my JavaScript mastery and React mastery and also just to practice more with that. And some of the things I'm going to do here is work through uh, Kyle Simpson's material and then some algorithm books that I have in mind. And what I'll do is I'll link them below so you can use them as well. And just doing lead code and working on projects. And so that was my experience. Um, I know it might have been long winded, but I did want to share as much important detail to you as as I can to help you uh, to, to so you can know what to expect when you're going to these big corporate interviews. And then the last point I think is personally for me, I would look for maybe a small to medium sized company. And this corporate company it's it's so big and it's so corporate that i don't really think i would have enjoyed it to be honest i like it when i can actually make a difference and communicate with my team and the people we're tight-knit we have fun together but this corporate culture is another thing and i'm sure if you watch um the circle i think um with a girl from harry potter or if you know Google, Facebook, that sort of thing. It's it's a different culture. And I think one thing I took away is that I might enjoy other, other comp size companies much better. And that was my process and experience. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to message me or to leave a comment below. I thank you for listening and Hopefully, I'll have another great interview in the near future. Thanks. Talk to you guys later.